Green Room stars Anton Yelchin, Imogen Poots and Patrick Stewart and is a horror, thriller, crime film um, which is really really gory. Um, it basically follows a punk band who are all indie and all that kind of cool. Um, they're a bit down on their luck, they get hooked up at this for this gig um, at what they don't know is a neo-Nazi club basically and they go along, shit happens and they get trapped in there and have to fight their way out against these neo-Nazis who are terrible people, really really terrible people. I quite enjoyed this film, um, it, it was very gory. It was a horror, but it was more of a thriller. I saw it at Scream Unseen, which is similar to the Odeon Screen Unseen, but this one was specifically for a horror film. It was very, very gory. Um, but, for a horror thriller, the characters in there were actually really quite good and quite likeable. They weren't to start with, but you build this kind of likability with them throughout the film, and you start relating to them. Um, which surprised me a lot. I mean, it's not, it's not a fantastic film. It's nothing overly new, but it was enjoyable as far as seeing blood and guts and knives cutting people everywhere goes. Really, the acting was really, really good in this. I was shocked. I mean, Anton Yelchin, I really, really like anyway, but he really carried this film. It was really... I loved him in this. He was fantastic. And the... I mean, it was so tense. Most of the film was just full of tension. It was insane, and it really had you kind of on the edge of your seat, wanting to look away, but not... The red light on my camera is flashing right now and I do not like it so I'm going to try and speed through this right now. So my camera did just run out so um, um, I had to turn everything off and blah, charge. But yeah, anyway, back to Green Room. With this film, because it's on the good side of the horror genre, um, a lot of horror films that are well made, well directed, um, tend to be a little bit pretentious. Um, but this film really wasn't. It knew what it was, it knew it was just a bit of fun and gore and tension and it just accepted it and I liked that. However, that does also come into a bad point as well because it's, it doesn't try anything new really. Um, it is just what it is. It's, it's just based around the fight and the fighting their way out and yeah there's a few th well there's not really any twists and turns there's there's some unexpected things but there's not really anything new in there um, but again as I said I enjoyed it um, and I don't think it needed anything new to be a, a decent film the pacing was a bit off. Um, the first act was a bit slow and then you get straight into some action in the second act and it's like there's, they just throw all this stuff at you and then it starts to slow down a bit and then there's more just thrown everywhere and then the end kind of trails off a little bit and it gets a bit slow again so it was a bit weirdly paced um, I think it should have been a bit more spread out maybe or have a bit more of an interesting first act or it wasn't boring uh, but it just wasn't it didn't fit completely together but as I said I really enjoyed it it's definitely worth a watch it's not the most amazing film but it's better than a hell of a lot of other horror thriller films that have come out recently and ever really so it's definitely worth a watch I would recommend going to see it 
and I am going to give Green Room 76 out of 100, which is a B. It is really enjoyable. If you like horror films, if you like gore, definitely go and see it. It's very tense, and I just think it's it's an enjoyable film, really, as, as far as blood and guts go. As I promote in all my videos, you can follow me on Twitter at DoGoodFilmsUK and I'm on Instagram, Jordan underscore Doogood. Um, all the deets are below. And yeah, I'm trying to be more active on social media. Um, so yeah, follow me and let me know what you think of all these films. Um, talk to me. That's what I'm here for. I'd love to know what you think. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe for more. Thanks. Bye.